Hey, good morning. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you in growing your real estate business. And today we're going to talk about why you cannot follow up with leads the right way. Uh, because a lot of agents are doing it the wrong way. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest questions I get from agents all over the country, how do I get better at conversion? I need help with conversion. I can't convert any of my leads. Nobody will answer the phone. Uh, everybody that does answer says they didn't fill out the form. They don't know what I'm talking about. This is a major problem for realtors all over the United States. It doesn't matter if you're generating your own leads. It doesn't matter if you're buying leads, if you've subscribed to certain services, Realtor.com, Zillow.com, Trulia, Commissions, Inc., any of those programs that are out there, it's not going to do you much good to get their contact information if the way that you're contacting them is unwanted and undesired. One of those biggest problems is calling leads. Now, I know there's going to be people that say, oh, I make so much money calling leads, but I can guarantee you, you make a lot more money if you don't call them. Let me ask you, is this the first time you've ever seen me? How do I keep following up with you? Have I ever called you? Do I have a sales department at all? Do I need to convert anybody by calling them and asking them if they're ready? Uh, just touching base to see if anything has changed for why do real estate agents do this with buyers and sellers? Your best bet is to position yourself as the top producer, the educational based marketer. Uh, the best way for you to get good at sales is to do edu educational based selling which is to show them how you can help them. So many agents are like, well, I want to get an appointment so I can talk to them. What if you talk to them and then that gets you the appointment? What if you actually give your presentation and then that allows them to want to work with you? So this is an approach that, you know, whether it's typing, talking, video, uh, however it is you're staying in touch with your people, you can do it without getting on the phone and asking them to meet them in their house. That's crazy. It like that is way too far down the line when they are at the we're just looking gathering information stage. Now, by the way, everybody's just looking until they find what they want. So maybe it's a good idea for you to know they're always going to be just looking. They're always going to be not in a big hurry until they find what they want and they decide that now is a good time for me to be in a hurry. So what you can do is look at any individual niche that you have, any one of them, and say, okay, what kind of questions do they likely have? So uh, move up buyer, okay? Uh, do we buy first or sell first? I can't really go buy a home because I have this house, but I can't put this home on the market because what if it sells too fast and I don't find what I'm looking for? This real estate catch-22, I don't know what to do about that. Well, there's your video. There's your presentation. There's exactly how you teach them. Now, by the way, you can do that as an email sequence or whatever, but so much people's phone is really their television these days, right? So uh, you can do it either way. Now, it doesn't have to look good. As a matter of fact, today we're testing new lighting here. I don't know if I like it or hate it or whatever, but uh, I'm testing out some uh, this whole lighting set that I bought for like 90 bucks. <laughs> on Amazon. Uh, bought it yesterday, showed up this morning. I said, hey, I'll test it out and see how it works. Um, but you don't have to worry about how you look or what your lighting's like or anything else. I mean, this is about my 17,000th video that now all of a sudden I'm like, hey, let me spend 90 bucks on lighting. So the key is to think about what kind of questions would they have? Uh, you know, when's a good time for me to sell? I've heard interest rates are too high. All of these things, that's content that you can create. Let's say you're working new construction leads uh, of all of our inner circle coaching members, no matter where they're at in the United States, and we have a boatload of them. Hundreds and hundreds of them are generating new construction leads, people that are interested in new construction houses. Well, if I were getting that lead, what kind of information can I answer? Can I educate them on? Um, do new construction homes ever get listed on the MLS? Um, do they really have better interest rates? How long does it take to build a new construction home? How would I sell my home if that's nine months away before the build is going to be ready? Um, do they negotiate on price? Would I lose money if I had a realtor representing me? I just gave you like nine different video topics that you can follow up with your prospects and you never say, I'm calling to follow up. I just wanted to see if you guys are closer to ready. That's the how in the world is that considered conversion? So 
Uh, many of you know that in Inner Circle Coaching this year, uh, I've decided I'm going to do 10 big master classes, basically one a month, uh, 10 big master classes on the most important thing, then the second most, then the third most. Uh, one of the biggest ones that we've had is conversion. So many agents are struggling with that. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. Uh, they generate leads and then they can't convert those leads and they decide those leads suck. So then they cancel that service and they get another one. And then they say, oh, I tried that for a while and I got a couple closings, but those leads are no good, right? Well, frankly, the only ones you are getting to answer the phone are the bad leads, the ones that have horrible credit or would do anything to get anybody to work with them, the desperate people, right? Uh, the one that's willing to sleep with you on the first date may not be the best choice for you. It may just be they'd sleep with anyone on the first date. Same is true here. Some of the best prospects maybe aren't ready on that first call. Maybe they need a little bit of wine and dine. Maybe they need some education. Maybe they need a video marketing funnel that's going to them to educate them on how you can help them with their real estate needs. So there's a million ways you can go about this, but point being, conversion does not come, a couple of things. Number one, conversion is not calling people. And secondly, conversion is not videos to people. It's a combination of a whole bunch of things. There's some you may use, there's some you may not. There's some you might be comfortable with, and there's some you're like, there's no way I'm going to do that. What else can I do? On the conversion training we have coming up for our Inner Circle members, we're going to talk about all of those options and how you can convert better. Now, by the way, phone may still be a portion of what we're doing, but I will promise you that phone call works a lot better if they know who you are in advance. If you are a stranger and you're calling them, yeah, you were on Zillow three and a half weeks ago, and I just, my name's Greg, and I just wanted to follow, that doesn't work. I want you to imagine right now me, Greg Luther, I want you to imagine I called you on the phone. You'd take that call. You'd hang up with your mom on the other end, right? You'd, you'd say, I, I can't believe it's Greg Luther calling. It's because you've seen a lot of content, because you know that I can help. It's because you know there's value there. What if you do that for your prospects so they look at you as an industry professional? They look at you as their real estate advisor, not as a salesperson that's just following up on leads. Worst word you can ever say, I'm following up. That means I'm trying to close you. Right. So if you're doing that, you're getting bad response. So uh, this training we have coming up, uh, obviously, the one we're doing here in a week or so is on best bidder. Uh, then I believe our next one in a couple of weeks is going to be conversion training. If you're not an inner circle member, you better check out the links below. Go to listmoresellers.com or something. Uh, and, you know, just getting yourself to a position that you can convert at a much higher level. Every additional deal you can convert is $10,000, $15,000 to you, depending on the area that you're in. So I want to get you closing more business, but it's not going to come from what you've done in the past. It's not going to come from the way we used to communicate with people. And if you're stuck in your old ways, if you're like, well, if they're serious, they'll talk to me on the foot. No shot. I can guarantee you my son cares about me. If I call him right now, I will, while it's ringing, I'll get a text from him that says, what's up? He won't answer the damn phone, not for anybody. And by the way, uh, millennials are upwards of 40 years old now. So, you know, you got to kind of get with the times and, you know, we don't want to become that old dog that can't learn new tricks just because you used to use the phone doesn't mean you need to do it that way now. Okay. So uh, I've got a lot coming up on that, but again, just get better at how you convert your prospects and realize it's not about following up with them or being more tenacious and, and you know, pestering them. The reason you have call reluctance is because you know it's not wanted. It makes you uncomfortable and it makes them uncomfortable. That's why you don't want to do it. I mean, there's nothing about, uh, uh, I'm, uh, am I scared? No, you're not scared. You just know nobody wants that shit. So the best thing for you to do is to educate them, to help them that when they're done reading it or watching it or whatever it is that you're providing for them, they're like, wow, I really learned a little bit from that. That is how you become the industry pro. That way, if you do call them, if you do email them, they actually reply because they know you, like you, and trust you. Hopefully that's helpful for you today. I'm Greg Luther. Uh, if you're not a member with us, check it out below here. There should be a link to listmoresellers.com. Watch that video right now. It'll show you how you can start growing your business. And if you are a member with us, you're going to be on that conversion training. I'm spending a lot of time getting ready for this. 
I know it's going to help you tremendously. So uh, we'll see you on the inside. Have a good week and bye-bye for now.